What's going on guys? It's Gendo here, and I'd like to welcome you back to another edition of my Pentagon slash Hexagon series. And today Valencia are going to be taking on Porto in the quarterfinals of the Europa League. We're going to be playing them at home first, so it gives us a little bit of a disadvantage having them to travel to Portugal to try and get a victory there to advance, or at least get some sort of result that helps us advance. But before we get to that, we need to go over what we've done in the league. There's only been two matches since our last live comm. Valencia are still sitting in fourth place, 57 points through 30 matches. We are five points behind Atletico, seven behind Barcelona, and, well, let's not even talk about Real Madrid, as they more than likely have won the league. Taking a look at their schedule, uh, we picked up four points from our last two matches, a draw against Sevilla, was on the cards as Neto picking up a goal in the 13th minute while Sevilla equalized in the 65th. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here. Um, Sevilla outshot us. Sevilla just completely outclassed us on the day, shots-wise, uh, balls on target, majority possession. So it comes as no surprise that in the 13th minute we kind of lucked ourselves into a goal here. That was just some... Solid passing around the edge. The ball finds Neto. One times it to the far post. And just, you know, finds the net and gives us out to an early lead after just 13 minutes. Now, this is going to be a slightly long highlight. It's going to be mostly back and forth. But uh, once Sevilla get the ball once again, it's going to be a complete um, technical skill and prowess to pass the ball down the pitch and ultimately find the net themselves. You can see they're just, they're passing into quite open spaces that we just leave for them. Uh, marking them, marking them, and then he just shoots it into the top of the net and ties it up. And ultimately that is the end result as you only get a point out of this. But like I said, Sevilla had majority shots, majority possession, felt like they were, you know, standing poised to defeat us at any point but they were only able to match our one goal so it ends in a draw we then followed that up with a 2-0 victory at home to Espanyol Damian Rivas picking up a goal in the 24th minute and then Espanyol helping us out later on in that first half with an own goal by their goalkeeper taking a look at some of the highlights here we had 21 shots to their four none of theirs were on target um, it was a complete flip of us versus Sevilla as we were the ones completely dominating the team. Passing through and Damian Rivas off the fingertips of Lopez, the goalkeeper. So it was a little lucky there getting that goal, but it was a goal nonetheless. This one's going to be a little long, so I'm just going to fast forward to our possession once again. So Gaia bringing up the left. We're going to throw it into the box, and Lopez is just going to completely mishandle it. Bounces off his fingertips and angles into the goal. Credit, own goal to the keeper. And that's how everything left in that match. 2-0, getting all three points, and a deserved three points at that, since, like I said, as in the match against Sevilla, Sevilla dominated the match. We dominated this against Espanyol. Uh, nothing else to report transfer-wise. No one's going to be heading out. Victor is going to be coming back very soon from his twisted ankle. He should be back in time for the second leg of this match, but he's not going to be playing today. So we'll just have to go on without him. And here's going to be the starting lineups. Hold up. All right, and we're going to come out, and Porto looks like they're going to be playing just to try and hold us with that severely defensive formation. Three center backs, two defensive mids, three in the middle, and only two strikers. So it looks like they're trying to just to just grind it out in the back and maybe score a goal if they ever get the chance. Meanwhile, on our side, of course, we're going to be using our continuing our tiki-taka formation with the two center backs of Rodriguez and Artunio. We're going to have Vincente and Ryman out on the wings. Vincente Velas is our defensive mid. Our two center mids will be Jose Luis and Wilfred Koptum. And out on the wings, we have Juan Inoto, who's only going to be there for a little bit longer, and uh, Nestor Silva. And actually, eh, I'll save uh, Fede Cartavia for sub and maybe bring him on when we go to Porto. 
because I was going to throw him out on the right and Victor will be on on the left. But either way, Damian Rivas is going to be our striker. He's going to fulfill his false nine roles. And, of course, how can I forget, Chevy Criado is going to be in net for us today. So let's kick off and see how we fare in this first leg and try and take an advantage going to Portugal. And here we go. Since we're the home team, we're going to be in our white shirts and black shorts. Porto are going to be in their all blues, which I think is their primary kit as well. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. So far, 15 minutes, nothing really much going on. We have had a couple of shots, but uh, nothing worthy of a highlight. And like I said, Porto, Porto looking to use that formation just to... Uh, just to try and hold us from getting a goal with their five players out on the defense, you know, just trying to turtle. But after 40 minutes, Porto, oh, that's a bad tackle. That's going to be a red card for Cop Toon. That was a double leg. Yep, straight red. Hurting our chances right there. Good job, buddy. Good job. So Jose Luis is now going to sit in the dead center. I'm not going to change up the formation. I'm going to leave it as is. But, yeah, Wilford Coptoon going out like that absolutely, absolutely puts us at a disadvantage. And more than likely will cause Porto to get a couple of goals on us right now. We're going to probably use that tactic as a um, more counter. And as you can see, it is 0-0 at halftime. We've been unlucky. Uh, you know, actually, I'm just far from pleased with what I saw with this team since we haven't scored. And uh, just looking at Wilford Coptoon getting their red, I'm not, I'm not happy with you getting sent off. So there you go. Everyone else, keep it going. Let's try and crack this uh, defense of Porto. Now that we're down to ten men. Oh, we are pushing forward, but Rivas getting the ball taken off of him. It's only three minutes into this this half. Porto have only gotten two shots on them to our seven, but it looks like they are pushing forward and looking to have some sort of attack. Gets around our defense, but shoots it wide, so nothing coming from that. Here they come again on attack. He's forward. Don't even bother. Save and, ooh, another good save. I thought for sure that rebound was going to be a goal. So good save by them. Uh... Encourage the boys some more. Good double save by Criado, preventing Porto getting a goal there. Now here we come with the ball. 57 minutes gone. Passing through the center. Inoto. Oh, off the rebound, Nestor Silva. Great. With 10 men, Valencia picking up a goal on Porto. And it's now 1-0. And he parried that right to Nestor Silva. That was just easy pickings. I'm going to make a sub. Jose Vincente, I don't want to risk him going off with another yellow card, so I'm going to bring on uh, Jose Luis Gaia. As far as everyone else, everyone looks like it's he's doing fine. Damian Rivas, a little disappointing, but I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to go with that for now. I may switch out Velez. Gaia, free kick. Good position. Oh, what a strike! What a strike from Gaia, 30 yards out. And it's 2-0 to Valencia. Oh, man, I need to see that on replay. That was absolutely perfect. But no time for replays right now. I'm going to bring on another sub. We're going to bring on Neto for Jose Luis. And we'll do that. And he said Jose Luis is... A little tired out there. I don't want to concede a penalty. Good, good tackle. Um, while that's re resolving, Henry Muhammad's going to come on for Julian Rodriguez. Another good clearance. Maybe if we can hold them off. And oh, we had Shabby Criado going one way and Porto shooting the other, and they get themselves an away goal. And that's going to make things more difficult for us when we go back to Porto 
as um, you know, without having the away goal is going to be. It's, like I said, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be more easy for Porto to take us on. Three minutes left of stoppage time, and it looks like it's going to come and go very quickly. 20 seconds left. A goal kick for Porto thrown very deep as they try to make one last charge. All right, tighten it up, boys. Five seconds, and unless the ref lets them continue this attack, which they are. Oh, it's off the post. Ooh, good clearance, and that's going to be your game. The first leg goes to Valencia 2-1. 2-1 when we were down to 10 men, mind you. So good win for us, but now we need to step things up in the second leg. I don't care if a couple people are confused. You kind of were let off being down to 10 men. And Wilfred Koptum getting another talking to for being sent off. So obviously right there, uh, Koptum is not going to be back for our second leg against Porto. So, who am I going to fill that? It's probably either going to be Ahmed Galal. Who do I have? It's either going to be uh, Neto. Uh, it may be Neto, Ahmed Galal, or Nathan. One of those three. So, we'll catch you back for the second leg against Porto. And hopefully we can continue this fine form and move on to the semis. So, don't go anywhere, but we'll be right back. Okay, before we play the second leg of this portal match, let's just go back and just appreciate this Jose Luis Gaia free kick for what it was worth, and from a different angle. He hit this from all of 30 yards out, and it looped into the top right corner. So just take a look at this. Boom, boom. Goalkeeper couldn't do anything about that. That was absolutely amazing. So bringing him on late and really did help us out. So, you know, I wanted to, to think about starting him, but I don't know because Porto are coming out with a 4-2-4 formation. They really want to win this. They're going to take it to us. And I'm going to go back to this. Uh, like I said, the one thing that I could not do was bring in Wilfred Koptum because he's suspended. He is, in fact, being replaced by Neto. And I did say Fede Cartabia was going to come in for Inoto today, so that's where he's going to be placed. The only fitness concern I really have is Patrick Ryman out on the right. Um, so I would just want to, to make that known, just in case anything comes down that right side. I do have an option in Lucas Herrera to bring on, but my first choice is Ryman, and I do want to see how well he will fare. Everything else has remained unchanged. So let's kick off and hope that we can contain this uh, this Porto attack that is sure to be coming. I can only hope that uh, they won't score any goals, but uh, that's probably false hope right there. So let's kick off. I have the faith in the squad doing well. Hopefully that is not misplaced faith as Porto come out with the kickoff and immediately get a corner kick. Not even five minutes. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and that's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Porto getting out to a quick goal with their ultra-attacking formation. And 25 minutes gone. See, right now, Porto would be advancing because of the away goals. Just need to... Continue that good steal by Rivas Neto. Oh, that's a steal back from Porto. Porto just continue the offensive. Good save by Criado, but we need to to try and make something happen ourselves. Porto once again just flying up the wings. Criado tipping that around the post, and it's just been all Porto today so far. Zayvon Sente getting the clearance out to Rivas. Let's see if he can do anything out on the wing. Coming up the left, he does have a couple of runners, but ultimately cannot get a pass to him. Cartabia, however, we do get a free kick. We do get a corner. It's in the box. People falling over themselves, and we somehow do not get a penalty or a shot on goal, and right over the top, Porto going one-on-one -on -one with us. 
And they turn that into offense. And everything is just falling apart for us now. We get in our corner kick, Cartabia whipping it in. Falls to Velez. We really need we really need a pass better, because that was absolute shite. Ortuno ahead to Rivas. Gets it through to Cartabia. Was he onside? He was. And while it's 2-1 to Porto right now, it's 3-3 on aggregate, and we can push this to extra time with how the result stands. Um Oh no, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let coach do that. I'm gonna let the assistant coach take care of the team talks. It looks like they're all good. So let's go back out there and try and snatch one more goal, just one more goal, to help us move on to the semifinals. We're starting off strong so far. Vincente bringing up the wing. Uh, Cartabia stopped his run. Cartavia did not stop his run and probably would have had a, at least some sort of chance on goal. Porto with the ball, though. Need a little bit more present. Uh, this is going to be a short angle shot. And it goes in the fucking net. Of course it does. Of course it does. Taking a short angle shot going into the net. Porto. Not even three minutes later. All right, has been maybe three minutes later. But maybe we can get some possession on the ball as my boys just can't seem to hold on to it. There you go, Ryman. You cannot make that tackle and then just stop. You cannot do that. You cannot fucking do that and expect it to work. Great. All right. I need to go to my. So I need to go to my attacking formation now, which I don't know how much success this is going to be against Porto. And if you're going to bring on one sub, I'm going to bring on Herrera for Ryman now because of that. And now I need two goals. Instead of one, now I need two to win. I need two to win. Incente in the 68th minute. Here we come with an attack, maybe. Throws it in. Oh, there we go. Nestor Silva getting us one goal. It's 4-2 Porto. 5-4 on aggregate. Now we just need one more. We need one more if we want to win. Push forward, boys. Push forward. Throw in from Jose Vincente. Throws it in. And nobody's there. Now Porto could hit us on a counter. Oh, we get possession back. Luis to Rodriguez. And we bring something up the right. <sighs> Bad passing, boys. He's smarter with that passing. A lot of possession being played in the midfield. Porto coming up the right. And better tackles. Stop raising your damn fucking hell. Giving up a fucking penalty. My defenders are not... Ugh, fucking hell. My defenders are not that bad that they should be raising their arms in the air because they think they got beat. They weren't beat. He could have made the tackle. Nope, we lost this match. Good job, boys. Clean like shit out there. I'm not even going to make any more subs. This is just a worthless match right now. Come on, step up and take the penalty. We know you're going to make it. Oh, there it is. Top, top shelf. And Porto are going to go through. I know my team won't be able to score two goals in six minutes.
Porter with another attack. Well, why did my guy just fall over like a sack of a bag of rocks? Wow, good job, boys. Not know how to play defense. Congratulations, you are a professional football team. One minute stoppage time, that's come and gone. Porto absolutely kicking our ass on the day. Full time, 7 4 on aggregate. Absolutely unacceptable. Two red cards in two matches. Great. Absolutely great. We would have faced off against Arsenal in the in the semifinal, but now Porto can have fun. Jesus Christ, this guy had five goals. And I had everything set to him, too. That just means that no, nobody, nobody had the skill to mark this guy. He was just that good. All right, so I guess... There's nothing left to do for this season except play out the play out the rest of it and give a, an end of the season review. We're still in fourth. Hopefully we can stay in fourth by the end of the season uh, so we can get back into the Champions League. So I guess until next time, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And you're going to get a fine. And I don't care if you don't like it. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Comments, suggestions, questions, anything else, please leave it in the comment box below. But uh, until next time, this is Gendo, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, and peace out.